Welcome to our lab, install a boot manager. So learn how to install and configure a boot manager. You'll learn about Grub and how to configure it. We need a single Linux machine. I'll just stick into our uh, basic Ubuntu machine for this. So uh, classically to edit Grub configuration, you'd make ch uh, changes to grub.cfg, menu.lst and other files uh, manually. Now in Ubuntu 18.04, these configurations are auto-generated based upon etc grub.d and ET, etc default grub. So what we're going to do is open up the terminal with your favorite editor. Uh, in my example, I'm going to use sudo nano uh, to get to the grub file. And there's some settings. Now, it's asking you to uh, change some of these settings. You can have a go yourself if you know what to do. Otherwise, there's an answer key or a suggested answer key at the bottom of the lab. And you can pause the video here if you don't have the lab book handy. I'm going to change some of them. Some of them I'll leave you to do. I don't. I didn't actually grab a grub um, image. The reason is if you go through any documentation, actually this is worth looking at as well, a how-to geek website on uh, grub2. But um, there's certain settings you'll need, 8-bit, uh, 256-bit colour, and I haven't really um, looked around the internet for a suitable image. So you can uh, go ahead and do that if you so wish. So I'll just go back to the lab a second. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, as sudo, run the nano text editor, and then etc default, and then grub. So I've um, just hit the up arrow because I'm lazy. It's um, I've already run this command just uh, prior to doing the lab. All right, so you can see our grub file here. Uh, please read through the uh, text uh, which I've got in blue. Yours may be a different colour, and down here. Now, uh, if I pull up our solution, it uh, looks like much of it is um, going to match. So, grub default zero, which we have. Uh, timeout style menu, timeout 10. Grub distributor looks the same again. Uh, command line is default, and then there's a new uh, line here. Uh, grub in its tune here. So we can add this. You can uh, change some of these. For example, you could change the timeout to, uh, if I just use the keys here, I'll go ahead and change this timeout. So I'll change it to uh, just eight. There's another line we had here in our solution. The uh, grub in its tune here. This is a tune that would, um, or can play. I've read documentation that it, um, some people object to this being done because it will slow the boot, and I think it will slow by much, or it could cause, or it has caused system instability for them. I'll go ahead and do it on my lab. You can watch me do it. And then if I have any problems, I'll obviously let you know or you'll see it happen. Um, but it's just good for us to add another line just to um, go through the lab. You can read upon the um, Ubuntu manual, it specifies the duration and the pitch of the notes. You can actually, if if you really want to, look up uh, mini tunes and um, see which codes to put in here in which order. 
and then um, it should play whichever normally a little classical ditty when the uh, device boots So control and O as you saw down there is the instruction to write out. Okay we've saved our uh, configuration. I'll go through to uh, the next step here, task 2. Have a peek at boot grub grub.cfg. It's a rather long file and um, you should recognize parts of it. Uh, if you uh, were doing your lab 28. I think I may have actually undone some of these labs just to speed up my uh, boot but if you've left the configurations in there then you should see them. So I exited out of our text editor uh, then I'm going to check the contents of the file I just mentioned. There's a lot in here so I'll leave you to scroll through and see if you can recognize any configurations. As I said, I'm pretty sure I removed the ones from uh, the earlier lab. It was number 28 on the video. So I'll let you do that. And then uh, finally, task three, uh, reboot your computer. If you've added an image, you should see the uh, image. Uh, otherwise, it should um, play the tune as I indicated. So. There's a <laughs> important command I missed, so apologies for that. I didn't read uh, my own lab. So I'll reboot the machine now and then um, it should play the beep. All right, so there's, I think, a problem with the sound settings because I'm on a virtual machine and uh, I don't have time to troubleshoot it. But somebody's added it to um, their configuration on, uh, so I just put, I pulled up a video on YouTube. Okay, so they're playing the Star Wars theme. We just wanted a uh, beep to play. So um, apologies for that, but... Um, it's going to take quite a while to do the troubleshooting. The configuration command's correct, and you could change this. You could do a search and look for various different tunes that you can add. But um, it's not uh, playing on boot, so I'll need to look into that. But um, this is the correct command anyway, and then we obviously need to update the grub, which I forgot to do first time round.